Hello and welcome back. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We're continuing our testing of the Unitrends uh, Rapid Recovery uh, Appliances. Uh, we're back in the console here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is do a uh, backup and then uh, also a recovery. So let's go ahead and do a backup. I, I've purposely been excluding a drive from uh, the backup of this particular Windows machine. So we will go ahead and add that now so I can show you the whole process. So first of all, we'll do a backup. Uh, we'll select the, uh, uh, that Windows machine. Uh, actually, what we need to do is create what's called a selection list so that we can uh, add the uh, drive that we need uh, to that system. So we'll create a new selection list. And I, I don't need to put in the pattern or anything. I can just have the uh, system drill to it. So we'll give it uh, a name, though. This will be our, uh, our data uh, volume backup. Uh, this particular volume holds all the uh, shared, uh, basically the home directories for the company. And then uh, we can uh, have it do a file system specific selection for us. Uh, drive G, the entire volume is, is uh, what we need there. Uh, so we'll select that, hit add, and then uh, we can hit save. So now our selection list ha has been made. Uh, we'll go back to backup wizard here and here we are with our bat um, and then what we need to do is um, add our selection list there we go All we do is click and then drag and drop onto the inclusions area. So now we've created a, a, a backup that's just going to back up that uh, directory. It's got a fair amount of data in it, um, about five gigs or so. So then we, uh, once we're done there, uh, we click uh, backup. It goes out and sends a request to the system. The request is succeeded. We click OK, and that's simply uh, we're ready to uh, do our backup. Uh, well, we can come back in later and, and set up a schedule for this, which we'll do in a, in a future update. But if we look at the, uh, if we go to the job status uh, section that we were showing you earlier, you can see that we have a selected backup queued and that um, it's also queued up a verified task. So that's about as easy as it gets in setting up a backup. Uh, our next... Um, uh, step will be to show you how to do a recovery.